Hello everyone, welcome to the first session of Zentangle Tile on Tile and today we are going to be first creating a string on this piece of paper which I mentioned in my introductory section. It is a bigger size paper, it is A5 uh, size paper which would be about uh, 5 inches to 8.5 inches. Yeah, and I have what I've done is just uh, drawn a pencil border to this paper. Yes, and we are going to pen it, but a little later. First, uh, let us get started and draw our string. So, as I mentioned, uh, use uh, one of your regular tiles as a string. So, first, I'm going to place my tile here, and then if you are comfortable uh, drawing it freehand, please go ahead. No, no issues at all. You can very well draw a square freehand. Yes. So that was first. And then I'm going to rotate it like this and then add the second one. Yes. So something like this. It need not be perfectly placed. That's fine. Please don't bother about those things, right? Everything looks nice after you tangle over it. So that's not an issue. And then I'm going to add another one like this, just like the first one. And I'm going to place it like this. So let's start with a simple string today. The overlapping tile string. Yes. So that's the first step. Now the second step is generally in Zentangle we do start with a border and I would advise you to start you know with borders in case of these overlapping tile series. So it's it will be nice if you add a border because that will kind of make your tiles discreet. Yeah, They will help you or whoever is you know looking at the picture to identify the tiles separately if you add a border. Yes, so I'm going to first add borders to all. So this is the second tile. So the third one, I'm going to probably uh, draw a complete full tile. Yeah, because this is hidden. This one is hidden. So the third one will be a complete tile. And again, I'm going to add borders. If the lines are confusing you, you can very well go ahead and erase it. I don't have eraser here, but uh, I will erase those unwanted lines later. Yeah. So let's get started and tangle first. I'm going to use my black micron and start with this section here. So start uh, with a nice curvy string as far as this part of the tile is concerned. So I'm just creating a nice curvy string, something like this. On this tile, yes. And now I'm going to start right away. So let's place uh, two different tangles in this tile. I'm first going to start with a tangle called perk. So this is how the tangle perk starts. Yeah. Some slanting lines and I'm going to kind of complete the shape or ink the string as I draw my tangle perk. Right? So you can see here I'm kind of connecting these slanting lines. Yeah? Like this. The shape looks nice. You can choose any tangles of your choice. I just felt like starting with the tangle perk and then you just have to add orbs. Yes, so start from the center, preferably. And then you can add further orbs, which need not be complete orbs. If you have small intersectuses in between, try to fill it up as you draw. So I'm squeezing in orbs. The further orbs are not really complete. They are kind of drawn behind. Yes. So squeezing them inside. So I'm not going to enter 
this space I'm just going to draw behind whatever spaces are there and then the same way you have to go on the other side Poke is a zentangle original as I keep saying in all my videos if you are new to the tangles either you can closely watch me drawing here or you can refer to my previous videos where they may not be very good in quality but you can definitely learn how to draw the basic tangle I think the teaching part is quite clear yeah <laughs> maybe although I'm still not that tech savvy so go ahead and squeeze in these nice orbs so that spoke I'm going to do the same here also again connecting the consecutive slanting lines so that I get this nice shape again go ahead the lines can be even more slanting it's up to you again continuing to draw behind whatever is visible like this yeah and I'm doing the same thing in these two sections also so let's first complete this one again I'm going to start in the same fashion take your time go slow squeeze in the orbs slowly complete it yeah so I'm continuing in the same fashion and I've left in between spaces for some other tangle so alternative columns I'm inserting my tangle perk small little intersectuses make sure you add that extra ink a little ink there yeah now the in between spaces that I have I'm going to go with a simple tangle called Banzo Banzo is another Zentangle original so you can draw it any which ways you can draw one large banzo or you can draw banzos coming from both sides entirely up to you or you can just squeeze in banzos just about moving in any direction that's entirely up to you how do you want to draw it inside the space that you have I'm keeping it simple this is the first session let's take it easy so I'm adding simple banzo just like a shell here yeah and probably some more like this yeah and now I'm going to ink it just the way we do for banzo and if you want you can leave a highlight in fact it would be nice to leave a highlight or if you want to skip that part and just ink it you can go back and add chalk to add the highlight yeah so whichever way you are comfortable but I am going to ink because I like the drama that it adds to my tile if you want you can go ahead and add some other tangle inside these auras even that is a possibility if you want to create a tangulation yeah make sure you don't get inside the other section that is important so the other tile should be clearly delineated don't get into that 
string take your time if you want to use a bolder nib please use an O8 or a PN that's entirely up to you whatever you are comfortable with small spaces it's generally preferable to go with your O1 only yeah again leave a highlight ink the rest keep rotating your tile don't move your hands much once it settles down have fun with inking it's very much a part of tangling enjoy it enjoy your tile going black from white enjoy the contrast that it adds to your tile and we are done with the first section yeah I will do exactly the same in these two sections also so I'll be back in a ziffy so we are almost done with drawing our first tile and this is a small little portion left here where I'm just inserting some hidden bunzos yeah now we will move on to the second tile what I'm going to do is add kind of a dotted line like this kind of inking my border like this yeah moving on to our next style which is only this part that we are going to draw so let's start with uh, some nice and flowy mukas what say yeah so I'm going to st uh, probably draw my mukas with black and then we will switch to some burgundy ink also so let's draw some nice Muka sprouts. So come back, go back again, again a pod, again go back again, draw behind, again drawing behind a small one there. Yeah, insert some small tipple or caviars here and there, that's fine. Again, I'm going to start right here, go up, add a nice pod, come back again, slowly take your time, don't haste up, come back all the way down, again go up, this version of Mocha being Mocha Sprouts. You can draw them straight, you can give them a curve, that's not a constraint. Draw the tangles the way you wish. Give them your personal touch. Make them your own. Yes, and then I'm going to probably start uh, probably from here again. Go like this not really planning what where just going with the flow again go back again give a nice curl come back again go back beautiful tangle to draw muka this version being muka sprouts yes so we have kind of created an enclosure these outer spaces again I'm going to just add not really adding a very discreet pen line but just creating an outline of sorts 
like this. The outer spaces, I'm just going to add some nice stipples or in some of the, them can be caviars too. And fill up the space. You can draw all of them of the same size. You can vary the size. Tipple is an excellent filler. So just take your time. And these spaces, you can just comfortably go ahead and fill it up. Some caviar, some tipples. Yeah, something like this. So I'm also going to go ahead and add some bit of weight or rounding to my mukas. And if you want, you can also add some weight, some extra ink here on the heads. They will make it a little more prominent, will add a little more character to your mochas. Some bit of extra ink. Like this. And probably here also some bit of extra ink the in between spaces between the sprouts can be comfortably inked but we shall see if we want to do that yeah or maybe we can use a different colored ink and the rest of the space i will just add uh, probably some knight's bridge again a drama tangle a simple tangle to draw just like a checkerboard draw a square grid something like this and then depending on how you want the squares to look like you can then draw some lines so the shape of the squares will vary depending on how you draw the grid they may look like diamonds if the, both the set of lines is slanting yeah so I've just drawn a simple grid here and I'm going to ink it now Again, the drama tangles look nice when you ink them. And I'm going to ink all the squares here probably. I'm, I'm going to add burgundy in between or probably you can add burgundy lines or burgundy orbs. Let's see. Yeah. Let's keep that option open. So ink alternate squares, I think by now you know how to draw the tangle knight's bridge. That's just like a checkerboard. Yeah. So I have inked my knight's bridge and now I'm going to switch pens a little, use my burgundy pen and add some lines inside my knight's bridge. Something like this, slanting lines. Create a nice but simple tangliation. You can keep it white, it's entirely up to you. And I'm also going to fill up this in between space with my burgundy pen, like this. Take your time. No hurry. Yes. Like this. So I am done with adding some burgundy to my sprouts to my second tile yes and this is how it looks like now we will be moving on to the third tile yeah so third tile again it is entirely up to you what uh, tangles do you want to add so let's add some nice and uh, 
moons yes let's add some nice moons so what I'm going to do is first ink my border yes and once we have inked the border I am now going to add some nice and big moons add them the way you want to crescent moon like this and then you can either ink it completely or just add a slight highlight and ink the rest like this yes the moon's peeping take your time go to each and ink the moons at your own pace no hurry yeah so once we are done with drawing our moons the next step is definitely to add further auras start from one side add simultaneous auras to all you can add them at a distance or you can add them close that's entirely your choice keep rotating and keep adding auras till the auras start to intersect Take your time, take deep breaths, relax your hands, your body, be in the moment, don't think about anything else. In fact, you will not think about anything else if you are concentrating on your tile. Have fun. It's just a simple C stroke, an aura. It's okay if your hands are shaky. Certain things come with practice. Yeah. So the more you practice, the more your hand gets stable. But then you have to draw. Yeah, so I'll continue till the aura start to intersect. So now I am done with my crescent moon. You can see that the auras are all intersecting with each other. So you continue to draw the auras till they start to intersect and they kind of create an enclosure, a curtain razor kind of a thing. And then I'm just going to go with a simple tangle called Wells. Keep the style simple and draw the wells grid once again retrace a part of the orb and go to the corner facing it like this yes now if you want you can either insert further wells which will be well well or you can just draw the tangle wells here which is these petal shapes So whatever you feel like drawing, yes, and then another line here, just like the beautiful flower from which this tangle is inspired.
like this yeah now this left so the rest of the space behind the wells i'm just going to use my burgundy pn and draw a simple filler tangle like printums or any other tangle that you feel like you can repeat tuples or you can add any other tangle of your choice i'm just going to add my go to tangle which is printums I try and use it in almost every tile if you have been watching me because it's a very versatile tangle you can use it as a standalone or as an excellent filler so again switch my pen to burgundy pn and just filling up the leftover spaces between you can also extend your crescent moon there if you feel like that's entirely your choice how do you want to go about filling those space take your time yeah so i am done with adding my printums a small little embellishment that we can do is to add small orbs here anything that you feel like you can also add a tangle called wood you can add tangles like duda whatever you feel like this entirely up to you i'm just adding simple orbs yeah so i shall do that for all the four petals take your time and the fourth one here I think we are done just a little wait here That's it I think we are done with our tangling now let us get to shading yeah 